Okay, here I'm going to graph the function y equals 1 half cosecant of 3x. We'll pick out the vertical asymptotes and zeros, if any. The first thing I'm going to do is find the period of this. And to get the period, we'll take 2 pi and divide it by the absolute value of b. In this case, 3 is going to be our b value. So our period is just going to be 2 pi over 3. So cosecant of x normally has an asymptote at x equals 0. And this one certainly still does. Now, as you travel a distance of 2 pi over 3, we have to have, you know, kind of uh, one portion up and one portion down. So one of our vertical asymptotes is going to occur at the point pi over 3. So there's x equals pi over 3. And if we move over x equals 2 pi over 3, that'll give us another vertical asymptote. And it's going to look like cosecant of x, except for it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be stretched as much since we're multiplying by 1 half. So if this is x equals pi over 3, 1 half of that is pi over 6. And that's where cosecant is going to hit this value of, whoops, I wrote one third, that value of one half. And then it's going to increase and increase. And likewise, if we take the point right in the middle between pi over three and uh, two pi over three, what's that gonna be? So one pi over six, two pi over six, I guess three pi over six which would be pi over 2. That's going to, at pi over 2, you're going to be sitting at negative 1 half. And then the function's going to decrease as it approaches either of those asymptotes. So there's one, uh, one period of the graph, y equals 1 half cosecant of 3x. For the zeros, again, there are none. It doesn't cross the x-axis. The vertical asymptotes, though, are going to occur at multiples of pi over 3. So we can write that as uh, x equals pi over 3 times n, where n is an integer.